let's take a brief look at human existence. To put it simply, we are born, we live, and then we die. How do you feel when you consider the inevitability of death? The most commonly experienced feeling is fear, and this can lead to death anxiety, a persisting abnormal fear of dying where the individual has feelings of worry, anxiety, and dread, which disrupt daily functioning. The major problem of death anxiety is that it can impact on all aspects of life. There are, however, effective ways of coping to avoid becoming emotionally overwhelmed. Usually, this is unconsciously done for us by the buffering systems proposed by Terror Management Theory, or TMT. These psychological buffers include cultural worldviews, a set of culturally appropriate morals, standards and values, self-esteem, which provides individuals' uniqueness, and meaningful interpersonal relationships, which give a sense of purpose. Collectively, these allow an individual to perceive their existence as significant despite their fear of dying. TMT is the most prominent and well-supported theory of death anxiety. It proposes that death anxiety is due to the inconsistency between our evolutionary drive to survive and our awareness of death. Death anxiety has multiple contributing factors, so it is difficult for the buffering systems to always function efficiently. When they do become overwhelmed, vast negative consequences can occur, including anxiety disorders, phobias, depression, somatic symptom disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, and eating disorders. Beyond these psychological issues, withdrawal behaviours can also occur, which are evident in workplace death anxiety. Poor concentration, running late to work, absenteeism, and turnover are all consequences of the stress and strain that death anxiety causes. So with all of these significant issues occurring, we must ask, how can we protect ourselves from the negative effects of death anxiety? TMT proposes that some individuals can deal with death anxiety by ignoring mortality cues and focusing their attention on other areas of their lives, such as work. This has been supported by findings that generative behaviours can reduce death anxiety. However, the multidimensional nature of death anxiety affects whether the awareness of dying leads to either fear and dread or inspiration and generative behaviour. How easy it would be if we could address such a complex problem by saying, don't let the awareness of death leave you feeling anxious. Instead, be inspired to live a better, more generative life. Unfortunately, it does not work that way, and there would be a multitude of individual differences and external impacts we would have to control for before this would even be a possibility. The most important protective behaviour is to keep a close support network and try to participate in enjoyable activities daily. Death anxiety is understandable because death is a very scary concept. However, we must try to remember that each day we are given is a blessing and we should try to make the most of it.